Hello my dear crafters, here I am with one more project for you for Valentine's. Today I'm going to show you, you might remember, let me just show you here, these uh, lip balms, they, they call it like moisturizing uh, lipsticks from Dollar Tree. And remember from my haul and I said I'm going to create a tiny box for it. So here it is. This is a great gift for yeah, to anyone really, your loved ones, your co-workers. Look, I made three here just so you see how differently they can look depending on the paper that you use. All of these papers, they come from the same paper pad. Let me show you. It's this one right here. You've already seen it before. I'll, I'll show you again when we begin the project. But all I want you to look at is how perfectly it fits. Let me show you right by it so you can see. See, I made the perfect box for it. So if you found some after seeing my haul and you got some, now you're gonna have a box for it, okay? You can make it as Valentine looking like this one full of hearts everywhere or at this is like a all year long project for your loved ones okay it's great for uh craft fair it's great for christmas birthday presents look at but this one is is 14 so that's for valentine's too so just get the beautiful papers you have and speaking of which um don't use paper, use cardstock okay this is the one that we're going to make together today so let's move to the tutorial. So what do you need for this? Just one piece of paper. That is five and three quarters by four and three quarters. This paper here, make sure that it's not paper that is cardstock, okay? Because I'm not going to decorate this one to make it sturdy. So make sure that you have thick cardstock. And this comes, you've seen this before, I've been using this through my Valentine series. It's a beautiful paper pad that I found at Hobby Lobby. You can see that on my haul and I'll have that link below, okay? So five and three quarters by four and a half that's all you need and of course some embellishments that i have not decided yet what i'm going to use but we'll decide together okay so you're gonna get your paper i'm gonna use this bone folder here and on the five and three quarter side and here is when you have to think about the direction of the paper okay because this is what the box is going to be like that's this way so if you want to for example if you have stripes like you do this one if you want the stripes to be uh, up like this then you have to the paper would have to be this way so make sure to know that this is what you're going to be looking at the the box is going to be this way so it's the long five and three quarter that uh, you're going to be looking at in this direction so here we're going to score at one quarter well one inch sorry one inch four and one eighth of an inch four and one eighth and five and one eighth of an inch so four and one eighth one it's going to reinforce that so that's that and then we're going to turn it turn it to the right and here it's very easy you're going to score at one one two three four because this is how I, this is the, uh, it's actually the same size here because that's how it fits. So it's one, 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 one. So it's one, two, three, and four. And then you're going to be left with a half an inch flap here, and you're going to understand why. So that's it, guys. So let me just burnish. my paper so that you see what's going on this one is to, needs to be pulled a little bit so there I should have I think I should have been a little bit more generous when <laughs> when I was 
uh, scoring. Let me just score everything, then I'll show you what we need to do, okay? It's not complicated. Yeah, that's right. It's not complicated at all. This is a very easy box to make. So that's that. And telling you, I did not press down strong enough. So I'm going to have to do some scoring as I go here. Should have scored a little bit stronger. There you go. So we're done with the scoring. So this is what we have here. Do you see that we have this? We're going to work on the flap first, okay? So that's the half an inch flap that you have left on the right side. And all we need, guys, from this flap, sorry, no, it's this one here. So on the long side, you're gonna have this flap here. And we need to cut it, and I do not have a scissors here, just a second. Sorry about that, so. Yeah, so make sure that on the top you have these two here, okay? Two score uh, spaces here. So here on the right side, all you need to keep from this flap is this middle part here. So we're going to get rid of all the rest. So we're gonna get rid here, and I'm going to cut at an angle here, a little, just a little bit, and we're going to cut here these two squares here. So that's all you have to do on this right side. So this is what actually when you fold, just so you understand, that's what's going to go underneath and close the box, okay? That's the flap that we need. So still staying here, we're going to cut this part, this, oh sorry, I already cut these two. So we're going to cut these two plus this. So it's like a triangle here. So you actually cut two here, plus two and one on the left. We're gonna make it like a triangle, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. So we cut this gonna make sure that this is straight yeah scissors are better and then we're going to cut the top part because also here I'll show you why we're cutting all of this you'll understand very soon also here I'm gonna cut at an angle because this is the flap that closes the box okay this one here and we're also going to cut this part. So I will show you what it looks like at the end, after all your cutting. So we had a paper here all the way. We cut this little part, we cut that, and that, and all of this, okay? So that's what you're going to be left with. Here, we're just going to cut up to the score, or the score mark, okay? But you're not going, it's going to stay. All of this we need because this is the bottom of your, of your box and we're going to need all of these, okay? So there you are. The last thing we need to do, it's just cut this, just loosen up these flaps here. We're not gonna cut them off because here's what they are. They are going to close here and then you're going to close with that, okay? That's it, we're done. I'm just going again, I always like to, this flap here, just a little bit, cut at an angle, but just, it's really not much at all, just to make it easier. And I also like to cut a little bit of the top. Same thing with this one, cut a little of the top, and at an angle, just a little bit. They always make it, it always makes it easier to get some of this stuff out of the way. So here we are. I like to show this size because it's this side here because it's easier for you to see. Let me just make sure that this is cut properly here. Yeah. So there you are. We're done. Now all we need to do is glue it. So I'm going to zoom in for you, just so you see where you need to glue, okay? So we're going to glue this part here first. I'm going to use my art glitter glue, because it's a very strong glue, you know, that's my fave. 
I have the link to all of it. The best way to do this, guys, is just fold it. Just fold it like this and press it down. See? Make sure that it's all. Use a bone folder to make it stronger. If you fold and press it down, it always works if it's folded properly. So you have the box. Now, here's what you need to, to know. Since we're going to have, we just have to wait two, maybe a few seconds more so it doesn't open. You want to make sure that this, since this is closing, that this is the last flap to close. So we are going to close the flaps here, put a little bit of glue. Close this one. This one I can see that I need to cut a little bit. It's kind of not going down the right way. So I'm going to just cut a little bit off of it. There you go. This one too. Just a little bit to make sure that it folds right. So there we're going to just press it down a little bit because then I'm going to help it. See, this is the this is where it closes. So this one is the last one to close because you don't want it showing, okay? So this one I pressed it down and then the last one put a little bit more glue on this one because that's the last one, okay? And what I do usually is I just press it down like this with my bone folder to make sure and I just do this just to make sure that it's glued and it, this glue is very fast. I'm just going to add some more here. I can see that it needs some. There you are. And we're done. We have our box. Now let's see how I'm going to decorate it. I'm just going to put the lip balm here or lipstick, whatever you want to call it. And now let's decorate it. So I prepared a few things. I prepared this and I was thinking that maybe I could put this here and something. I have this smile that I'd like to... Oh, look at that. That looks good. Either that or... Which one do you like best? It's not like you can answer and I can hear, but... Or maybe this? No, I like the yellow better. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the yellow here. It's just the bottom part because I think this is going to show a little bit. There you go. Press it down. And then I'm going to add this. Let me just use the... Oh, look at that. Cute. Let me just move the, yeah, the heart a little bit. So look at that. So you can actually use whatever you want. Maybe smile. Is that too much? Too much. I think that's too much. I think this is it. We are done with our box. So let's see the other ones. Let's put it out here. One is very, very Valentine. Full of hearts. And this is the third one. How cute is that? So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll have all the measurements for you down below in the description box. Let me know if you liked it, like it, subscribe, all of that. You know, leave comments. It's good to know what really works for you guys and what is really something that you would love to see more of. So let me know, okay? Thank you so much for being here with me, spending your time, and get ready for my next video. It's going to be the memory box. So cute.